Hey everyone, in this video, I'll walk you through the process of generating high-resolution 300 dpi images using Canva for top-notch printing quality. This is particularly handy if you're using Canva for crafting designs for clothing, merchandise, or printing marketing materials. When it comes to printing, dpi stands for dots per inch, and a higher dpi translates to superior resolution and a denser arrangement of dots. Let's dive into the details. This will give you a higher print quality. 300 dpi is the standard print quality a lot of professional printers will ask for and is suitable for most commercial applications. The problem with Canva is that when you download the PNG, it only produces a 120 dpi image or a 96 dpi image. But according to Canva, we can get 300 dpi images by selecting the PDF print option and then downloading. However, if we have uploaded low resolution images to the picture, it will still result in a low quality. So what we need to do is take this PDF print file and convert it to a high quality JPEG. If you are sending to a professional printer, they may also need the crop marks and bleed. Click download, then head over to PDF to JPEG.net. Choose a PDF file to upload it, then select excellent 300 DPI, then click convert PDF to JPG and download that file. Another hiccup with Canva is that all the downloads default to the RGB color profile instead of CMYK. RGB involves the primary colors of light, red, green, and blue, used in pixels on monitors, TV screens, and phone screens. On the flip side, CMYK involves the primary colors of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, the four colors of printing. Fun fact, the K in CMYK stands for key, explaining why your color printer typically has four ink cartridges. So if you're gearing up for print, it's crucial to convert those RGB designs to CMYK for the best results. Let's make sure your colors pop on paper. Remember, what you see on your monitor might not match what you get in print. That's why it's essential to convert your file from RGB to CMYK. Head over to rgb to cmyk.org for a quick conversion. Upload your file, choose JPEG, stick with the default settings, and hit start. This step ensures your colors look as vibrant on paper as they do on your screen. As you can observe here, the two images display a slight difference. Voila, now you've got a print-ready image at 300 dpi with a CMYK color profile. I hope this was helpful and provided you with a better grasp of the printing process. That's all for now, folks. Catch you in the next one, and thanks for watching.